Hey everyone, welcome to Control System Lectures. In this lecture, we will be talking about the first method of Lyapunov. But for that, we need some prerequisites. Therefore, we will talk about local linearization of nonlinear systems. Linearization of a nonlinear phenomenon near an operating point and studying the behavior of the system using the linearized model is commonly used technique for studying nonlinear systems. It is extensively used for analyzing nonlinear phenomena in many engineering situations. To explain this technique graphically, let's take a nonlinear function f of x. This axis is f of x and this axis x. Uh, let this be the nonlinear function. Now, suppose we need to study the state of the system about some operating point. Uh, let's say at this point given by x0. Therefore, point is x0. You can see that the function can be approximated as a linear line around x0 to some extent. So let's say this extent. So this part is sorry, this much part is dou x. Similarly, here also this region is dou x, where dou x is perturbation. Now, if we are able to find the equation of this straight line, we are able to study the nonlinear function using linear analysis around this operating point for this particular range. This is linearization technique in a nutshell. Now, consider a time invariant nonlinear system given by x dot equal to f of x u, where f of x u is assumed to be continuously differentiable with respect to each component of x and u. Uh, let this equation be equation number 1. The equilibrium state of this system is given by f of xc u0 equal to 0 provided the condition that u is either 0 or a constant. Now let x of t equal to xc of t plus dou x of t and u of t equal to u0 plus dou u of t where dou x of t and dou u of t are perturbations in x e and u0 respectively are perturbation. Now if we differentiate this equation with respect to t we get it as x dot t equal to x c dot t plus dou x dot t where dou x dot t equal to d by dt of dou x of t. Okay. Now, substituting this equation back in equation number 1, we get x dot t equal to x c dot t plus dou x of t equal to f of x c plus dou x of t comma u0 plus dou u of t. Now expanding using Taylor series expansion f of x c u0 plus dou by dou x of f of x c u0 into dou x. Note that this dou x represents perturbation and these dows represent partial differentiation. Uh, let me use a different color to represent perturbation dou x. Plus dou by dou u of f of x c u 0 into dou u. Not that this dou u represents perturbation u. Plus half dou square f by dou x square into dou x square plus half dou square f by dou u square into perturbation dou u square plus etc. Uh, let me represent these higher order terms using h x c u 0 dou x dou u. Therefore, this equation becomes f of xc u0 plus dou by dou x of 
f of x t u zero into do x plus do by do u of f of x t u zero into do u plus function h of x t u zero do x do u. Keep in mind that this do f by do x and do f by do u are Jacobian matrices given by do f by do x equal to do f1 by do x1 do f1 by do x2 etc. to do f1 by do xn do f2 by do x1 etc. to do f2 by do xn similarly do fn by do x1 etc. to do fn by do xn. Similarly, do f by do u is given by do f1 by do u1 etc. to do f1 by do un. Similarly, do fn by do u1 and do fn by do un. Uh, one thing to note is that both of these are evaluated at xc and u0. This is also evaluated at xc u0. Now, if we make the assumption that as do x and do u tends to 0, the higher order terms tends to 0 at a faster rate than the first order terms. Specifically, we assume that limit norm of do x tends to 0 and do u tends to 0 h do x do u by do x equal to limit norm of do x tends to 0 do u tends to 0 h do x do u by norm of do u equal to 0. Hence, in a very small region about xc and for very small changes in input, the behavior of the perturbed system can be approximated by the locally linearist equation given by do of x dot t equal to do by do x of f of xc u0 into do x plus do by do u of f of x c u 0 into do u where this orange do x and do u represents perturbations and do x dot t is given by d by dt of do x. Since this is a set of linear and time invariant system of equations all the methods available for the analysis of linear system can now be used to analyze the stability of this linear system. Uh, let's see an example now. Consider the differential equation y double dot plus a plus b cos y into y dot plus c sin y equal to 0. The question is to determine the linear system of equation in phase plane and determine the location of eigenvalues for the linearized system of equations. Just now we studied that the linearized equation is given by do x dot t equal to do f by do x into do x plus do f by do u into do u. Now, writing the state variable as y equal to x1 and y dot equal to x2, we have x1 dot equal to x2 and x2 dot equal to minus of a plus b cos x1 into x2 minus c sin x1. Let this be equation number 1 and let this be equation number 2. Now, to find the equilibrium points, we equate x1 dot equal to 0 and x2 dot equal to 0. From equation 1, we have x2 equal to 0. Substituting x2 equal to 0 in equation 2, we get x1 equal to n pi, where n equal to 0, 1, 2, etc. Setting n equal to 0 gives us the equilibrium point 0, 0. 
linearizing from equation 1 we have f1 of x1 x2 equal to x2 and f2 of x1 x2 equal to minus of a plus b cos x1 into x2 minus c sin x1. Now to find the Jacobian matrix we need dou f1 by dou x1 which is 0 and dou f1 by dou x2 equal to 1. Similarly dou f2 by dou x1 equal to x2 into b sin x1 minus cos x1 and dou f2 by dou x2 equal to minus of a plus b cos x1. Substituting the values of x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 0 at the equilibrium point, dou f1 by dou x1 at x equal to 0, 0 gives us 0, dou f1 by dou x2 at x equal to 0, 0 gives us 1, dou f2 by dou x1 at x equal to 0, 0 gives us minus c cos n phi. Setting n equal to 1 gives us minus c. And dou f2 by dou x2 at x equal to 0, 0 gives us minus a minus b. Therefore, the Jacobian matrix dou f by dou x is given by 0, 1, minus c and minus of a plus b. And since this is an autonomous system, we have dou f by dou u equal to 0. Therefore, the linearized equation is given by dou x dot equal to 0, 1, minus c, minus of a plus b into dou x. This is the linearized system equation. Thus, we have completed the first part of the question, that is, to determine the linear system of equations in phase space. Now, the second part of the question is to locate the eigenvalues for the linear system of equations. We know that for linear systems, the location of eigenvalues is given by determined of lambda i minus a equal to 0. Here, the matrix A is this. Therefore, to find the eigenvalues, we need to take determined of lambda minus 1 c lambda plus a plus b equal to 0 which is lambda square plus a plus b lambda plus c equal to 0. Therefore, lambda is given by minus of a plus b plus or minus root of a plus b the whole square minus 4c the whole by 2. Thus, we have found the location of eigenvalues and that concludes this question. Now that we have the necessary prerequisites, we will discuss the first method of Lyapunov to determine the stability of the system. An important thing to remember is that this theorem is applicable only for autonomous systems, that is, only in the absence of force input the system. Coming to the theorem, for an autonomous system given by x dot equal to f of x, let dou x dot equal to dou by dou x of f of x c into dou x, where this dou x represents perturbation plus h of x c into dou x, where h of x c into dou x are the higher order terms. Be the equation of the perturbed system about an equilibrium point x c. If this condition is satisfied, then if the linearized system has only eigenvalues with negative real parts, then the equilibrium point x c is asymptotically stable. If the linearized system has one or more eigenvalues, which is eigenvalues with positive real part, then the equilibrium point x is unstable. If the linearized system has one or more eigenvalues with zero real part and the remaining eigenvalues having negative real part, then the stability of the equilibrium point x c cannot be ascertained by studying the linearized system alone, even the stability in the small. So, in short, if all the eigenvalues of the linearized system 
as negative real parts negative real parts then the equilibrium point about x is asymptotically stable and if there is at least one eigenvalue with positive real parts real parts then the system is unstable and if there is at least one eigenvalue with zero real part then the stability of the system cannot be found by first method of Lyapunov. Therefore, stability cannot be found. That brings us to the end of this lecture. And if you have any doubts, please feel free to ask in the comment section. If you understood this lecture, please like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a nice day.